Um, thank you for having me. My name is Obi, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And um, our company is Feddy. I'm the CEO and co-founder, also now pronounced Fedi. Oh, yeah, and today is May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. So it had to be done. I had to have the Star Wars theme as my walk on music. It just had to be done. But anyway, I digress. There is a problem, and we all know it. Big tech and organizations and institutions that we trust with our money and our data are supposed to be making our lives easier, faster, better. And they do for the most part, except for one thing. You see, increasingly, we are seeing stories where they are using, abusing, and misusing our data and our money. Now, the reason is simple, because the wrong people are in control. Now, the solution is we need a way, instead of third parties taking control of our money, a way to give communities, organizations, and companies a way to independently take control of their money and their data. And so that we don't make the same mistakes of the existing systems and existing regimes, we need a way for them to take control without any form of single point of control or single point of risk. We need a federated operating system. And Fedi, over time, is aiming to be the world's first federated OS. Now, to understand what a federated OS is, you have to understand the power behind the federated OS, and that is Fedimint. This is a community custody open source protocol, and we believe it completes the Bitcoin ecosystem. It's been around for, worked on for more than three years by my co-founder, Eric Syrian, who's an incredible guy. And it allows you to form community custody federations run by trusted members of your community, we call them guardians, with privacy and scalability using this incredible protocol called Chaumian eCash and extensibility baked in and run on behalf of your community. And when I say community, I mean villages, I mean your family, or organizations or companies. Now, FedEye users can join multiple federations. For example, in this example, we have a company federation, a family federation, or a local community federation. And they can pick and choose the federations where they store money and data independently. But conversely, federations can serve tens, thousands, or tens of thousands of FedEye users. Taken together, this forms a global decentralized federated OS network where hundreds of thousands, if not eventually millions of federations run by communities and companies around the world serve hundreds of millions, if not billions of FedEye users, all powered by Bitcoin and seamlessly connected via the Lightning Network. Now, what can you do with a global decentralized federated OS network, and that's a tongue twister. What can you do with that? Well, anything you can do with any other operating system, whether it's a mobile operating system, a desktop operating system, or the operating systems that serve the millions of websites on the internet. But, you guessed it, without a single point of control, without a single point of risk. So, I can give you some example use cases. For example, we are here at the MicroStrategy Conference, and thank you again for having me. Now, we know that MicroStrategy leads the way on promoting the idea of, community, of corporate Bitcoin treasuries. Now, the existing solutions out there can be difficult to use, they can be expensive, and there are limited options. Now, instead, you can form a federation, and in a matter of minutes, a company can be able to take custody of their own Bitcoin using the best practice of Bitcoin multi-sig. But it's not just about custodying Bitcoin. You can also use it to custody your USD. 
You see, with the extensibility of federations, it's possible to be able to custody not just Bitcoin, but also stable coins. In fact, you can custody using Bitcoin-backed synthetic USD capital or other capital assets, all under the control of your own company or your own community. And this is increasingly important when we're seeing more and more stories, unfortunately, of institutions failing, not just here, but abroad. And it's not just about custody of your money. It's also about use of your money. If you're an organization with employees in multiple jurisdictions, in multiple countries around the world, or with employees who often travel abroad, you may have to deal with multiple currencies, multiple banks, and that can be unreliable, it can be slow, it can be expensive. Again, you can extend your federation and individuals and employees in different countries can lock their Bitcoin to the value of the local currency at the time they're there, but in the back end, it is always Bitcoin, simplifying and improving the reliability of their service and their experience. And as I said, it's not just about money. It's also about your data. Right now, often very sensitive data or conversations are being managed by companies that are third parties outside of your organization. Again, with the extensibility of federations, it is possible for you to take those conversations, to take that data, to take those passwords, and bring them under the control of your organization, reducing the security risks of these, this information being stored with third parties. Now, what does Fedi look like? Well, I'm about to show you. And in fact, this is the first time we've shown anyone since we've launched the app. There are four main parts. The first is wallet, of course. This is where you take control of your money. And of course, you can access your Bitcoin, but also your USD or your Bitcoin-backed capital assets. Anywhere and anywhere. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And because of the power of the eCash protocol, it has a number of incredible features. One of them is if someone is in the federation with you, it is possible under certain circumstances to transfer Bitcoin to them even without an internet connection. Chat. Built into Fedi is a fully fledged chat application. It allows, of course, private one-to-one -one encrypted chat but also it supports things like groups. So you can set up groups to mirror and ape the structure of your organization, departments, regions, et cetera. And in future, we'll be supporting bots. So they can be trained on the data of your company to be able to allow your team members to get information and empower them in a natural and intuitive manner. And again, because of the power of eCash, in a conversation, I can talk to someone and, and transfer value to them in that chat as simply as sending an emoji or sending an attachment. I can instant message money. Again, all under the power and control of your federation, not under a third party that can maybe abuse or lose your data. It also has a fully fledged, full functional browser built in, allowing you to access any site on the internet. But on top of that, Community leaders or company leaders can showcase the sites and services they think make sense for their team members and employees. And if a site, as we saw from Zebedee, has support for Lightning and open standards like LNURL and WebLN, we can seamlessly integrate with these, allowing you to have Lightning login or Lightning send or Lightning receive instantly and seamlessly. In fact, so seamlessly, if you are a user of these, and they've been implemented correctly, you may not even know it's a separate website. And finally, and most importantly, extend. As I said, Fedimint, the protocol, it can be extended through what we call Fedimint modules. These are conceptually equivalent to mobile apps or desktop applications or web services that power all of the internet. And they are as flexible. Some example, but again, remember, with no single point of control, no single point of risk. Again, some examples. We have social backup. This allows you to have members of your company help recover the keys of other members if they were lost or stolen securely. And this 
is an important thing in terms of private key management, the backup and recovery of it. Secure password management, because it's not just about money. Again, instead of giving your um, password management process to a third party that may lose or abuse your private important passwords for your organization, you can take the control back into your organization. And again, members of your company can help recover the keys for others if, or the passwords for them if they lose their passwords. And finally, smart contracts. Of course we support smart contracts, but instead of having to learn an esoteric new programming language, builders and members of your development teams can, with less than a day's worth of conversion, be able to be up and running and building smart contract-like functionality on your federations. And those, those smart contracts could be doing things like integrating with your back office systems, your tax systems, your compliance systems, your accounting systems, so that you're not only empowering your staff, you're protecting your staff. So what's next? As mentioned, we've just recently closed our Series A funding round. It was $17 million, led by Ego Def Capital and an incredible group of Bitcoin investors who share our mission and vision. We also just recently announced that Fedi, the first version, which is not the fully fledged federated OS, but is our first step towards that, will be launched this month. This version will be squarely targeted at builders so they can build an incredible ecosystem of Fedi Mint modules over the coming months in advance of our public launch later on at the end of the year, targeting communities and companies around the world. And finally, I can announce today that we will win. We will succeed by ensuring our entire Bitcoin ecosystem wins. And in so doing, ensuring that all the individuals, communities, and companies that support win. And one of the key ways we are doing that is over the next two years, we will be hiring hundreds of FedEye masters and FedEye knights, yes, one more sci-fi connection, and FedEye ambassadors to locate, educate, and inculcate communities and companies around the world on Bitcoin, on Lightning, on Fedi, and the entire Bitcoin ecosystem. And we won't stop until there are one billion Fedi users using Bitcoin. So that's Fedi. We connect the world's most fundamental human technology, community, with freedom technologies, with empowering technologies like Bitcoin, like Lightning, like Fediment, like the entire Bitcoin ecosystem to level up humanity. So I hope that you guys can join us so we can level up humanity together. Thank you very much. May the fourth be with you.